be really nervous for this. Ah. Hey guys, what's up, it's Dana, and welcome back to my channel. Lately, I've seen a huge trend going around of beauty gurus trying other beauty gurus tutorials, so I thought it'd be a fun one to jump on. Today, I'm going to be trying out a Glamangor tutorial. I originally was gonna try and do one of her princess ones, but then I realized I really don't have any materials needed to do the gore stuff. For now, I decided I would recreate one of her newer looks. The tutorial I've chosen is her Harley Quinn makeup tutorial that she did for her short film, Madly in Love. I highly doubt you're watching this, Mikey, but if you are, I love you. You're awesome. Thank you for everything. You have inspired me so, so much. And yeah, <laughs> I don't want to blabber on too much longer, so let's just jump into this. Hello! Special tutorial oh no. involves me making myself into a clown. Oh no. Which we do here often on this channel. <laughs> we already are off to a rough start. I don't have anything that can make me that pale. I own a white cream paint, but it's really, really, really bad and. I'm just gonna be using a foundation because I, I don't have any white concealer or anything. So, we're just gonna go for that. The only thing is as satisfying as the drops are, you know, I can't draw a mustache on myself. And I was kind of wanting to draw a mustache. Wait, can I still? I tried. All right, I tried. I'm slightly paler now, just slightly. Next, we're giving her some black eyebrows to go with her black hair. Haven't done black eyebrows on this channel in a while, so this is gonna be something fun to go back to. But since I actually have eyebrows and don't have the possibility of just drawing them on, I'm just gonna take a black eyeshadow and run that through my brows. I always feel so funny when I do black eyebrows because I'm like, man, it makes me look even paler. I don't know how thick to make these. Like, I'm just kind of following my natural brow, but I'm like, is this too thick? Is this too much? Okay, might have made them slightly too thick. Well, I'm stuck with these now. Let's see a black cartoony looking brows. I I guess these are cartoony. The fun. For the fun, the fun, I wanted to keep it really simple and easy to recreate. So the first thing you want to do... Easy to recreate? Perfect! I think I chose the right one. There's no way I can screw this up. I mean, I technically already haven't exactly followed. I mean, I'm nowhere near as pale as I probably should be in comparison to her. My eyebrows are... But hey, I can I can probably still redeem myself. Small diamonds on a piece of paper, any paper will do, and then cut out two of them. So this is what it looked like when I drew them before I cut them out, and then I just folded the paper on top of itself and cut it out all at once so that they would be exactly the same shape and size. And I got my two here. Okay, I am back. I have returned. I have my two little diamonds, which I think might... I can't tell if these are too little or the right size. I guess we'll find out. What we're gonna do... I should contour first. Fast forward. Okay, we're contouring. It's gonna be fast forwarded. Don't get spirit gum, don't get prosade, I got lash glue. Don't know how she held the diamond as she did this. This was, this was a little difficult actually. Pupil. <laughs> oh, 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 ah! Alright, other diamond is at the ready. Looks about even, right? I think. I wanted like a dirty, grungy looking Harley. Like she's been through some shit. Because she has been. So, in order to get that messy effect, we are going to be using water activated paints and sea sponges. Okay, another problem. I don't have water activated paints and I don't have sea sponges. Pretty much, her black eye is this one. So, I'm just gonna take the sea sponge. And, um, 
just kind of go into this black eyeshadow really lightly. Just gotta kind of dab. Okay, this isn't that bad. It's supposed to be a triangle formation, right? In a triangle shape. Ha! Perfect! Okay, so I'm fairly happy with that part. So now I just gotta do it again, but uh, up on this eye. And just kind of splatter it all up on here. Did you go with the eyebrow? That looks so weird right now. Do the same thing with the red in the other spots. Got it. Now, now I gotta do red. For the red, I'm using a Sephora colorful eyeshadow in red carpet. And uh, we're just gonna go for it. Her red is definitely darker than mine is. My lines are nowhere near as tiny. I might have to go back in with some of my foundation actually. Or I might just go for it, you know. Once that's dry and you're done doing all that mess, we want to remove our eye diamonds. So you need tweezers. It's not a truth. I am very, 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 very scared. Oh, it worked. It actually worked. It worked! Right, moment of truth, the second diamond. Oh, yes, maybe. Booyah! For the Deadpool heart tutorial. Now you know. And that's the hard part, which isn't that hard. Maybe the hard part is winged eyeliner, which we're gonna do next. All right, winged eyeliner. Let's do this, baby. Her wing is pretty elongated and thick. So we'll see what happens. I'm already getting scared. Oh god. How do I fix this? Um, might have made this a little too thick. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, what I done? Decently happy with that. Now I just have to recreate it. Oh no. I have definitely done eyeliner better before. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not the greatest, but it's not terrible. It'll look better with lashes. Alright, personally, I think it's better with the lashes. I think it, it, I think it looks okay. <laughs> I think I'm doing a pretty okay job, honestly. But I'm using a black liquid eyeliner to uh, line my lips, because they're gonna be black and red, and kind of jokery, probably quinny. I'm, I'm literally going to do on my lips what I did in this one minute tutorial. Okay, so I don't got a liquid liner, but I do got gel. We're gonna hope this works. Last time I tried this, it's very bad. Last time I tried this, I also didn't use such a precise felt tip, so... <laughs> Yay! Use some black liquid lipstick to start filling that in. I also don't have a black liquid lipstick. As you guys can tell, I'm lacking pretty much everything she actually uses. So I'm just gonna use a normal black lipstick. Cause, uh, you use what you got, right? Might have added a little too much black, but that's fine. It's fine, we'll work with it. Then use a bright red on the rest and blend. As you guys can probably guess, I also don't have red lip good lipstick, so I'm just gonna use a matte red, because it works. Have to admit, I think black to red lips are probably one of my favorite things in the world. I just think they look so cool, like And that is it for the makeup. And done! I don't got a Harley wig that's black and red like hers. But I do have brunette wig that I can probably style like it. So we're gonna go do that. <laughs> Literally just threw on this brunette wig, put it into some pigtails, and I've got it. Don't try to change me in any way. You don't own me. Don't turn me down, cause I never stay. nearly as good as hers, especially the hair. Otherwise, I think I did really good on the makeup. 
super loving it, especially the lips. I'm kind of absolutely in love with the lips. If you guys like this video and possibly want to see more like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and of course tell me in the comments what other videos you might want me to recreate. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Make sure you guys go and check out Glem and Gore. She is absolutely fantastic. I love her so much. Her personality, her humor, just Everything about her is amazing. I will leave her channel linked below. Until next time, peace out. Bye guys.